When a new employee comes to your company, they'll need to be added to the training system. Luckily, with iSpring Learn, you can allow users to register with the LMS on their own so that you don't have to spend time doing it yourself. First, enable self-registration by heading to Settings, then Additional Options and selecting Sign Up. Now make sure this Enable Sign Up for Users box is checked and hit Save. Now let's create a link to the registration page. Select Users and then head to Sign Up Profiles. Next, select New Profile. Fill out the required information including name, department, the duration that the link will be active, and finally the number of activations for which this link will work. Then select Create. This will take you to your newly created signup link. Before we go any further, let's take a look at how we can customize the signup form. To do this, head back to Settings, then Additional Options, then head down to User Profile Settings. Here is where you can decide what information will be displayed on the user information page. By selecting edit, you can bring up options for each field like field name and whether or not the field is required. Some fields can be deleted and some cannot. You can also rearrange the fields and even create new ones. Okay, a new registration page with all the changes is ready to go. Now let's take a look at it. Here it is. I'm going to go ahead and sign up to show you how it works, and I'm only going to fill in the required fields. Okay, great. Here we are in our newly registered account. You'll see that I've already been assigned courses. In order for courses to be assigned automatically, like mine, pre-configure automatic enrollment. This is done on the course editing page in Availability. Head to the Profile Activation History to find out more information about who used this link to register and when. And that's how you can save time and energy with self-sign-up in iSpring Learn. See you for the next video.